Okay folks, the earth facing magnetic filaments are ridiculously unstable, but so far they're still attached to the sun. This dark corona hole is pointed right at the earth, we'll be feeling the solar wind effects from that in two to three days, and we do have a fairly active sunspot that is turning a limb right now. Uh, first and foremost, let's have a look at solar active region 11389. It is but a shell of its former self, it is strongly in decay, and probably isn't much of a worry anymore. Uh, this solar active region up here, uh, they have labeled as alpha, which we can only attribute to it being half hidden around the corner uh, when they labeled it. But as you can see, this will uh, either be beta or beta gamma when they relabel this tonight. And now for a quick science update. Unfortunately, a new player has entered the honeybee colony collapse mystery. After the host is infected, the bee goes AWOL in the middle of the night, disoriented and dying. Experts say the species has never attacked bees before and that 77% of hives tested in the San Francisco Bay region showed symptoms of infection. Scientists have identified six specific evolutionary waves in the last 65 million years. The full story is linked below, but most interesting is that climate change is the primary driver of these waves of change. You have seen our past reports on the polar methane deposits and the dangers they pose. Today, scientists discovered that Russian freshwater runoff has changed direction due to an Arctic oscillation and threatens to destabilize the temperature system sustaining the ice. Last but certainly not least, we do not usually report on fracking due to our lack of verifiable data, but we want to congratulate all of you who have helped to spread the truth and encourage investigations into these things. Together, we are change. Be safe, everyone.